The dark web. No one really knows just how big it is. Estimates put it at about 5% of the total internet, with all of that 5% shrouded in mystery. The dark web is most often used to remain anonymous online, but in recent years, it's been gaining notoriety befitting its name. Criminals have been extensively using it over the past decade to partake in illegal activities. So what exactly is the dark web? And how do we access it? Before we shed some light on what the dark web is, we need to take a look at the different layers of the internet. First, we have the surface web. This is anything you can find online with a quick search on Google. The vast majority of your online activity occurs here. Next, we have the deep web. This refers to content you can't find using a traditional search engine. You often need a username and a password to access the content. Last, we have the dark web. The dark web exists exclusively on darknets, which are networks that require specialized software or authentication to access them. Its roots can be traced back to the 1960s with the introduction of ARPANET, a Pentagon-funded project. This was initially proposed as a way to enable computers to interact with each other under a tentacle-based structure. In the 70s, the term darknet was coined, referring to networks isolated from the larger ARPANET for security purposes. In the 1990s, the lack of security on the internet and its ability to be used for tracking and surveillance was becoming clear. In response, researchers at the U.S. Naval Research Lab began working on a way to anonymously communicate over the internet. Their solution was to create and deploy the first Onion routers. These specialized routers direct traffic through multiple servers and encrypt it at each step of the way. With the release of Freenet, an anonymous file sharing service in 2000, the stage was set for the modern dark web's emergence. The Onion Router, or TOR for short, was made publicly available two years later and continues to be the most popular way to access the dark web today. Despite all the secrecy surrounding it, accessing the dark web is fairly straightforward. All you need to do is download a browser tailored specifically for accessing the dark web, such as Tor, Freenet, or I2P. Once you're set, you can use search engines like CRX or DarkWiki to start surfing the dark web in complete anonymity. So what is on the dark web? Sadly, despite its massive potential for providing users with the social good of privacy, the dark web has come under fire in recent years due to the illegal activity regularly taking place on it. The most egregious example would be the online black markets that have started popping up in the last decade, such as Silk Road, which was best known as a platform for selling illegal substances. You could buy anything on these secret marketplaces. Even with Silk Road's shutdown in October 2013, numerous alternatives have sprouted in its place in the dark web. The dark web is still also used to provide much-needed anonymity. Traditional social media platforms such as Facebook have mirror sites on the dark web, which allow users living under oppressive regimes to get past censorship blocks. Journalists also host sites on the dark web, allowing users to make anonymous tips. As the internet becomes less and less privacy-friendly, perhaps we'll see more users opt to conduct their businesses online using the dark web. Using a browser like Tor as your main browser comes with its unique set of drawbacks. For one, it's much slower than using a normal browser. A lot of web services are also blocked from browsers like Tor. On top of this, due to the nature of how these browsers hide IP addresses, you may find your own IP address implicated in another individual's illicit activity. Thankfully, there is an entire industry dedicated to providing users with private browsing experience, virtual private networks, or VPN. Using a VPN when browsing the internet allows you to hide your location and your IP address from anyone who might be watching. Unfortunately, unlike the dark web, using VPNs is not free. 
On top of that, your data will not be truly encrypted and hidden, as some providers will still collect your information and activity. It's better than nothing, and at the very least, we have options.